It's time for High School Sports on the NCW Life Channel. Today's broadcast of High School Sports on the NCW Life Channel is presented by Harvest Valley Pest Control, Dix Heating and Air Conditioning, Global Car Care, Les Schwab Tires, Biosports Physical Therapy, Impact Auto Sales, The Highlander Golf Course and Grill, Town Toyota, Auto Mocha, JDSA Law and Weinstein Beverage. Now let's go live for all the action of tonight's coverage of high school sports on your home for local sports, the NCW Life Channel. Eastmont High School, Eric Grandstrom with you and a cast of thousands literally here tonight as we're going to bring you the girls district championship for District 6 1A. It's the Kashmir Bulldogs undefeated on the season, ranked number one in the state, taking on the OMAC Pioneers. This will be the fourth time these two teams have met this season and the Kashmir Bulldogs looking to extend their winning streak and looking to get themselves into the regional tournament and on their way to state where they hope to win their first state championship. But first things first, they have to take on the Caribou Trail League's OMAC Pioneers. That's coming your way next. We'll talk to Brent Darnell on the pregame show as we continue after this on the NCW Life Channel. It's a Frappita Mocha with Whip. The espresso shakes are my most favorite because I can get any flavor. Uh, peanut butter chocolate Frappita. Definitely the espresso shakes. My favorite is the Mocha Frappitas. A peach Red Bull. Game show here on the NCW Life Channel. Time to talk with Coach Brent Darnell. Our talk with the coach brought to you by TC Slingers. Whether it's rock, bark, sand, or soil, they'll move the material for you. Well, Coach, uh, tough to play a team four times, you know, in one season. Here you go. Talk about the keys for you guys here tonight. Well, you know, nothing changes for us as far as we how we play, and we really try to emphasize playing against a faceless opponent. Uh, with our league being as small as it is, and having to play these teams three times in league and then in districts. Yeah, we really just try to focus on competing against ourselves and setting our own team goals and trying to beat those team goals. So nothing changes for us. Just try to be really good defensively, uh, play smart defensively. Don't get in early foul trouble, out rebound them, force them into 20 or more turnovers. Uh, if we can do that, we, we usually have a lot of success. Now you, you sound a little hoarse. Are you sick coming into this? No, we've had a good couple practices up in Kashmir and had to use my postseason voice, so getting it ready. Well, uh, you know, we all know that you have an amazing individual with Haley Van Leth, but you have had a couple of graces that have really stepped up this year, too. Yeah, you know what? Haley gets a ton of credit, and she should. I mean, she is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, but those two graces, Grace Irvin and Grace Hammond, I couldn't find a better combo to play with her uh, in all my years of coaching. You know, Hammond really compliments her because she shoots the ball so well. Uh, and she's super smart. And then Grace Herman just has a motor on both ends of the floor, defends really well, knows her role on offense. And uh, th they're just great. They're really two really smart players that understand our system, uh, great teammates, and, and, and don't get enough credit because of Haley getting so much. But I know how important they are to our yeah. team. Trust me. Well, I know that, that there's a lot of talk outside the walls of your guys' practice and everything else about, wow, and Haley and everything else, and now the whole 42 points until she breaks the state yeah. record. I'm sure that's probably none of the conversations you guys have. <laughs> you know what? It's interesting. We don't talk about it a lot. Everybody else talks about it. I had a short conversation with Haley today at our walkthrough about it, and she handles it like she handles everything. You know what? Uh, Haley scores a lot of points for us. 
uh, gets a lot of credit, but the bottom line is that girl wants to win, and she'll do whatever it takes to win. If that means she scores 40 tonight, or 42 and gets it, then great. If she scores 20 or 17 and we win, the ultimate goal is she just wants to win. So we're not gonna go out of our way to have Haley try to break the record, but if she does it in the process, then it was meant to be, and if she doesn't do it tonight, it's gonna happen eventually. So we're not too worried about that. She's gonna get it. Well, first things first, district championship on the line. Best of luck, keep everybody healthy. Thanks a lot, Eric. Appreciate it. Fred Darnell joining us here on the pregame show, brought to you by TC Slingers. We'll come back into the starting lineups and the tip coming up next on the NCW Life Channel. Hi there. It's Les Schwab tires. Well, more like Les Schwab alignment and brakes and shocks and wheels and tires. Now, some tire places don't offer all that. They only sell tires. And we're not sure how they sleep at night because all those services affect things like steering and stopping. That's why we offer more than tires to help keep you safe. Stop by or book an appointment at LesSchwab.com. Les Schwab tires, doing the right thing since 1952. At Town Toyota, we believe in our community, and we're proud to support this broadcast of local sports. Town Toyota defines reliability and value in both its products and in the dealership itself. We are home to legendary products like the RAV4, Highlander, and Camry, not to mention Tundras and Tacoma trucks. Of course, we offer service for everything we sell and a great selection of pre-owned and certified vehicles as well. So enjoy the game and visit Town Toyota for all your automotive needs. Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning has been proudly serving the Wenatchee Valley for over 35 years. And just as Dick's has been there for you, they have also been an essential part of our community, supporting local youth sports all year long and your Wenatchee Wild. Thanks for your support. Heating and Air Conditioning, your local, independent, train comfort specialist. Call 884-6444 today. And welcome back once again to a filling Eastmont High School here on this Saturday evening, the 15th of February. Hope you had a happy Valentine's Day yesterday, and uh, I don't think there's a lot of love lost, however, between these two teams when the OMAC Pioneers and the Cashmere Bulldogs meet for the district championship. This will be the fourth time the two teams have met this season earlier this year. The uh, Cashmere Bulldogs won by 33 points, 61-28. They beat OMAC the second time they faced them by 26 points, 69-43. And the last time around, 69-27, uh, the 42-point uh, uh, margin of victory. Actually, Olmack led at the end of the first quarter. That was the only time all season long that Kashmir has trailed at the end of a quarter of play. By the way, we've already had two games that have been uh, competed for on the floor here in the District 6-1A tournament. In the first game of the day, it was Daniel Sparks leading the way for Okanagan in a 38-29 victory over Chelan. Lady Goat season comes to an end. Also in the boys game just concluded, Riley Davis went off for 21 points for OMAC to lead the Pioneers over Chelan 71-64. What does that mean? Well, the loser of this game between OMAC and Kashmir will play Okanagan for a chance to stay alive and head to the crossover. Meanwhile, the uh, loser of the upcoming game between Kashmir and Okanagan boys will play OMAC for that uh, last chance to move on out of the district tournament. But first things first, we have Kashmir and OMAC tonight here on the NCW Life Channel. The Pioneers come in with a record of 7-5 and five in Caribou Trail League play, 12-8 and eight overall. Their head coach is Mike Abels. He's assisted by Sony Klimek. What's that to Malcolm? What do you need, Malcolm? Okay, need to bring up the audio, so we'll do that for you. Okay, bring up the audio, and let's take a look at the starting lineups here for the OMAC Pioneers. First of all, the uh, starters, Trinity Fjellman, a 5'6 sophomore, wears number four. Casey Varaska is a 5'8 junior. She wears number 10. Sydney Nichols is a 5'6 senior. She wears number 11. Number 21 is Aliyah Marchand, a 5'5 freshman. 
And Taya Mendoza is a 5'11 senior. She wears number 24. The non-starters for Coach Abel's here tonight, Paris Marchand, Alyssa Davis, Maria Campos, Giselle Arsenega, and Shadeja Michelle. Meanwhile, for the Cashmere Bulldogs, with a record of 12-0 in Caribou Trail Lake play, 20-0 on the season. The uh, Bulldogs have, uh, let's see here, 48-0 in the last four years in the Caribou Trail League. They're 91-6 in the last four years. Four league titles, three district championships, and three straight regional titles coming into this game here tonight. Their head coach is Brent Darnell. He's assisted by Larry Michael, Stan Evenus, Ed Weidenbach, and uh, Matt Lyons. Starters for Cashmere. Of course, Old World Haley Van Lith averaging 32.8 points a game on the season. The 5'9 senior headed for Louisville. Haley Van Lith getting the start. She wears number 11. Also getting the start alongside Haley tonight is a 5'4 senior Grace Hammond. She wears number 12. 5'6 junior Peyton Brown wears number 20. Riley Johnson is a 5'9 sophomore. She wears number 23. And wearing number 40 is a 6'1 senior Grace Erdman. The non-starters for Coach Darnell here tonight for the Cashmere Lady Bulldogs, Gabby Terrell Lewis is uh, wearing number 14. Cameron Phillips is number 21. Millie Bruner is number 44. Those are the first three you'll see off the bench. Also, the non-starters include Haley Larson, Allie Ball, Jalen Darnell, and Maddie Hammond. So we have the starters and the non-starters. We're getting ready for basketball. Coming up next here on the NCW Life Channel right after this 60-second timeout. It's time for high school sports on the NCW Life Channel. Today's broadcast. No calories, no sweeteners, all smiles. Bubbly, sparkling water, crack a smile. When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation, and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned, a privilege, an honor and we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. Just about ready for the tip-off. Mark Milner is our referee, Paul Waddell, and Dave Schott are also our officials here. Mixed crew tonight for this championship of the Caribou Trail Lake District 6-1A, if you will. The tip is handled by the OMAC Pioneers as Marshan will handle it out top. She'll give it up to Nichols. Nichols over on the right wing, and this is where that defense, that tenacious defense applied by Cashmere, comes into play. They love to first tur force turnovers. There's a lot pass inside. Outside it goes for a Nichols two-pointer. Air ball, no good. Rebound picked up underneath here by Cashmere. Riley Johnson will dribble it all the way. Go coast to coast, trying to draw the foul. No foul call. The ball's out of bounds. It'll be, or will it be? Yes, it is a foul call. Paul Weddle has that. It, foul is on Sydney Nichols. That's her first first team foul. They're going to give two free throws here to Riley Johnson. Riley, a 5'9 sophomore, averaging 5.4 points a game. And the first free throw is good. So the first lead of the ball game goes to Kashmir. Again, the last time these two teams faced was at Kashmir High School. Second free throw is good by Johnson. That was a, a somber night the week following the death of Kobe Bryant and his daughter, Gianna. And a letter read to the crowd by Haley Van Lith prior to the ball game. Tight defense again here applied by the Bulldogs. Olmack with the ball underneath almost gave it away. Marchand gives it up to Mendoza. She'll pass it over back to Marchand for a three. Good. Alaya Marchand with the first bucket for Olmack, and that gives the Pioneers a brief lead here, three to two. Haley Van Lith handles the basketball duty. She'll pass it off. Nice pass underneath to Brown. We get a foul called. OMAC coach Mike Abels was screaming for a held ball, but no. Foul is on. 
Sidney Nichols. That's quickly two on Nichols, and Coach Abels will head for the bench here and have Paris Marchand come in. The 5'7 freshman will pop off the bench here. It'll be a cashmere inbound play. Baseline right side, Brown has it in hand. Looking for help, counts on her. The ball ricochets off of a body, and then she came back into the field of play, and the last time her feet touched the floor were out of bounds, so that's out of bounds, so that's a turnover by Cashmere. First turnover of the ball game. Olmack traveling from right to left at we look at it here at Eastmont High School. Here's a drive, the shot on the run, no good. Rebound tipped around, picked up by the Bulldogs as Grace Erdman comes up with it. Here's Haley Van Lith for two, no good. Offensive rebound, put back, good. Grace Erdman for two. Our second lead change of the game, Cashmere up 4-3. Six and a half minutes to go here. First quarter action in a uh, game that continues to fill with fans here. Here's a drive, the shot, good by Mendoza. Third lead change here of this first quarter of play. Van Lith with the drive and the dish. The foul called on the drive on the pass, and it will be an inbounds play for Cashmere as Van Lith is able to draw the foul. And this will come on Omax Paris Marchand, who just checked in. That's a third team foul already on Omak. Inbounds pass coming in from Riley Johnson. She'll get it into the corner, then collect it to Van Lith inside. Turn around, shot good. Van Lith with her first bucket of the ball game gives Cashmere the lead back at 6-5. Already four lead changes here this first quarter. Now the drive, the running shot with the left hand, no good, off the mark by Fjellman. Rebound picked up by Cashmere. Quickly back the other way, Riley Johnson's gonna back it away here, run the offense, hoist four fingers in the air. She'll pass it off to Van Lith for a three-pointer. No good, rebound offensive underneath. The put back by Brown is no good. Rebound this time picked up by Omak as Marchand has it. Marchand dribbles it across the timeline, goes over to her sister, pass inside, stolen away by Van Lith. Three on two, here comes Haley back the other way. Stutter step, stops in the paint, shoots it up from there, missed the shot, rebound offensive. Erdman underneath, has the ball swiped away from her, they're gonna call a held ball. Cashmere trying to get a substitution here in the game. For the first time appearing will be Millie Bruner. She will replace Peyton Brown. The possession arrow out to Cashmere. Van Lith will bring it inbounds left side. She'll pass it in to Grace Hammond inside to Haley. Turnaround shot, good. We just can't stop Haley Van Lith when she's in that tight. 8-5, Cashmere out to its largest lead. Fjellman, cross court. Stutter step by Vraska. She'll give it up outside to Marchand. And here comes the double team. And they reach. The ball stripped. Loose. She picks it back up. Feeds across at the foot of one of her teammates. Now the spin by Marchand out top for a long two-pointer. Rims out. No good. Rebound offensive. Picked up underneath by Mendoza. Outside for an NBA three. It's no good. This time Haley Van Lith wrestles the rebound away from her teammate. Fires it ahead. Here's the dribble to drive. The shot good by Grace Erdman. Erdman with four. Cashmere out to a five-point lead with 4.39 to go here in the first quarter of play. Ball picked up. Fjellman with it down in the corner. Here's a running right-handed shot. No good. Rebound tipped outside. Picked up by Omak. Nice job over there on the right wing by Riley Johnson stepping in the passing lane, knocking it out of bounds. It goes out to Omak with 16 on the shot clock. Lob pass in. The ball reflected and deflected, and a turnover by Omak, their second of the first quarter. Here's a drive, a kick outside. Here's a drive underneath by, beautiful by Grace Erdman. Give her the bucket and one. The foul is on Aliyah Marchand. That's her first, fourth team foul. Substitution here for the Pioneers as Alyssa Davis will come in for the first time. Erdman, meanwhile, will try to make it a three-point play. She's got six in the first quarter, make it seven as she sinks that free throw. Cashmere, perfect three for three from the line. The lead bulges to eight here, nearly midway through this first quarter. Press by Cashmere. Olmack breaks it. Marchand gets it across the midcourt strike. Lob pass down low, a little give and go, but it goes right into the hands of Riley Johnson. Another turnover by uh, Omak and a coast-to-coast -coast layup and good by Johnson. Four points for Johnson, 10-point lead, and we're going to get a timeout taken by Omak and Coach Abels. He'll take a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here during the timeout. Remind you, our broadcast tonight brought to you by Automoka. 
Visit one of their six locations in the Valley, including the only Automoka with inside seating on 5th Street across from the college. What's your Automoka emergency? Also by Biosports Physical Therapy. Find them online at biosports.net. Open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Third game of the night, second first of our two here broadcast live on the NCW Live channel. Thanks for watching on TV tonight on local tail channel 12 on uh, Charter Channel 19. Also on our streams tonight, Facebook. Hello, Facebook viewers, as well as our website at ncwlife.com. Big crowd on hand. Uh, they're still lined up outside trying to get in for this one. Everybody wants to get a view of Haley Van Lith. Here's a turnover. Johnson, Riley, backs away from the defense. Feeds inside Erdman. Uh, shot off the window. Good. Erdman with nine in the quarter, 17-5. Cashmere's lead, its largest now at 12. Oh, Mac, we're going to get a foul called. Over there on a wing play, and that's going to be on Grace Erdman. It's her first personal foul. First team foul on Cashmere. Inbounds pass will come in. Came in coming in during the uh, break here was Michelle. Ball stolen away by Johnson. Again, feeds to Haley Van Les. Spins in the lane, shoots it, makes it. Six points for Haley Van Les. The lead now to 14. 3.12 to go. It's been a long time since Omax had a bucket here. Here's a long three-point launch on the way. Battles off the backboard. No good. Rebound picked up offensively outside as it was taken from Veraska. Way outside. Ball taken by Michelle. Lob pass across over to Veraska. Inside it goes. Fumbled the ball, though. It was a wide open look by Davis. Outside with 15 on the shot clock. Cross-court pass. It goes to... Michelle again. She lost the dribble. Haley va battling with it. Now a long three. Hits the back support of the backboard and goes out of bounds. It's out to Cashmere. No pressure by Omak in the backcourt as they trail it by 14 points, 19 to 5. Omak had the lead 5-4, but it's been 15 straight points. Here's a dribble around the back. Haley Van Lith falling away. Good! Count the bucket! Oh, my! Van Lith with her eight points and one. The foul is whistled on Veraska. That's her first. The fifth team foul. Dribbling behind the back. Fall away jumper with the foul. Cans it and one. The senior for Cashmere misses the free throw, however. Rebound picked up by Michelle. She'll dribble it up on the far sideline. Gave up the dribble. Splits the defense. Passes it off. Gives it up to Davis. Davis needing help. Now the ball stolen away by Van Lith. Van Lith was almost falling out of bounds. Then it's stolen away by Omak. And we're going to get a whistle over and back called against the Pioneers. That's the fifth turnover by Omak here in this first quarter. Substitution for Omak as Trinity Fjellman will come back into the ball game. She'll replace Alyssa Davis with 2.12 to go here in this first frame. 21-5 the score. Kashmir on top. 16 point lead and it just keeps expanding here. Haley works off the pick from Grace out top, feeds over to Erdman. They'll go around the horn with it to Hammond. Now it comes to Johnson. Johnson down the lane, gives it up to Erdman. Erdman inside, put up the shot, but we're going to get a travel called on Grace inside. So a turnover by Kashmir, their third. Kashmir faithful, not happy about that call. Bring it across the midcourt stripe is Fjellman, picked up by the defense of Hammond. Here's a poke, the ball loose on the floor. Held ball going to be called here, I think. Yes, it is. And the possession arrow is out to Omak. So they're going to bring it out towards uh, center court here. Going to get a substitution here for Kashmir, as we'll see Jalen Darnell for the first time. Inbounds pass will be in by Michelle. Gets it out near midcourt to her teammates, Arsenega, who checked in during that last break. Arsenega fronted up by Van Lith, got trouble. Ball ricochets off a of body, but picked up by Omak. Now stripped. Now the ball picked up underneath by Erdman. Another turnover for the Pioneers. That's six. Erdman in the corner. Darnell had it. Now to Johnson for three. Good. 
Riley Johnson collects the first three-pointer of the game for Cashmere. They lead it by 19 points with 1.10 to go first quarter play. Michelle dribbled the ball away. Johnson trying to get down after it, or who is that? No, it was Darnell that got it. Another turnover for the Pioneers. Down the drive by Hammond. On an eighth it goes. Turnaround jumper by Van Lith. Got the shooter's touch. Good. Ten points for Haley Van Lith here in the first quarter. Under a minute to go. 26 to 5, and this has been quite a run here as Haley Van Lith in front of her own bench knocks the ball out of bounds and screams at the Cashmere faithful to make a little noise, and they do. 45 left in the quarter. <laughs> Darnell. Coach Darnell has somebody grab his belt loop and pull him back. Here's a three-pointer, good. That breaks a string as Fjellman collects a bucket. First time in about five minutes here for Omak, it seems. Van Lith, now the drive, the shot, no good. Looking for the foul, didn't get it. Rebound picked up by Omak. Back the other way comes Fjellman. She'll drive it all the way, put it up off the glass, no good. Rebound underneath for Kajbir, still loose. Who's going to get it? Omak peels it away. And with 15 on the uh, game clock, a turnaround shot good by Mendoza. Taya Mendoza, right place, right tie. Eight seconds left. Van Lith going to shoot the three. No good. Van Lith fell down, tried to draw the foul from the officials. It doesn't come. Three quarters of the length floor. Almost the shot goes. Well, that will be the end of our first quarter of play. And 26 to 10 is our score. We'll take a 30-second break. Come back at you ready for second quarter action. You're watching the District 6 1A Championship. Kashmir leading OMAC 26-10. We're back after this. JDSA Law is a proud sponsor of these local sports broadcasts. They've been serving North Central and Eastern Washington since 1946. For over 70 years, their team of dedicated professionals has delivered quality, innovative legal services. JDSA Law partners with you to provide the finest legal advice and support as you navigate your personal and business challenges, risks, and accomplishments. At JDSA Law, they salute our local athletes and wish them well on another excellent season of competition. Twenty-six, ten. our score. Cashmere led by the 10 points of Haley Van Lith. Grace Erdman with nine. Riley Johnston with seven. Taya Mendoza with four points to lead Omak as the Pioneers scored a couple of buckets before the end of the first quarter, and that saved their bacon. They still trail it by 16 here. Cashmere's led by as, led as, as many as 19. And we're still got a line of people trying to get into the gymnasium here. They just had to make an address on the public address announcer asking people to scrunch together to scoot in closer because we've got more people that want to watch this game here. Haley Van Lith with it on the wing. She's got 10 points, drives in a paint, puts a shot off the back of the rim. No good. Got her own rebound. Put back. She's fouled. And we'll get two free throws. Paul Whittle says it's on... Uh, Michelle, that's her first. By the way, that is 16 fouls. So Casper will be in the bonus rest of the way. So the Bulldogs need to stay aggressive here on the offensive end. Meanwhile, Haley Van Lith, who's 0 for 1 from the line, first free throw by the left-hander, good. Well, I know that uh, there's a lot of the Cashmere folks, Cashmere coaching staff and such, that don't want to talk about the record, but... Haley needed 42 points to break the state record for scoring in a career in girls basketball. She has 11 right now. Second free throw is good. And as such a competitor that she is, I'm sure she wants to just get that in her rear view mirror tonight. For deflection, nice job by Darnell, stepping into passing lane, knocking the ball out of bounds. It'll be out to Omak. Shadeja Michelle brings it in to Trinity Fjellman. Fjellman cut off over on the wing. Ball knocked out of bounds. It's off of Kashmir. That defense for Kashmir just causes tons of problems. Seven turnovers for Omak so far in the ballgame. Inbounds pass. Got to get it in in that five seconds. Finally does. Michelle cross court. Here's a two on the way. 
It's no good. Offensive rebound. They kick it outside. Down the drive. Kick in the corner for Michelle. She'll shoot a long three. Rims won't fall. Van Lith with a rebound. Haley heads up pass. Here's Riley Johnson collecting it. She traveled, I think. No call coming. The rebound tapped. Picked up underneath by Hammond outside of Van Lith. Van Lith looking inside. Had Riley Johnson flash. Now she'll drive, shoot it, and make it. Left hand for the right side. Haley Van Lith for the quarter. 14 of the ball game. 30 to 10. 20 point lead for Cashmere, their largest. Surprising pass collected. Three point launched and missed by Vraska. Rebound picked up by Cashmere as Grace Erdman shows some good dribbling skills by the tall lady out there. Van Lith collecting the ball, collecting the offense now. She'll shoot the three pointer. No good. Rebound tapped underneath, picked up by Omak. As the Pioneers, Mendoza, 5'11 senior, comes up with it. Outside, Michelle looked at the three, won't shoot it. Now fumbling the ball outside is Marchand. She'll pass it up to Michelle. Michelle on the drive, spinning with 15 on the shot clock. She'll hoist a right-hander up. It's no good. Had a tap on her own rebound, out of bounds off of her. It'll go out to Cashbear. Darnell comes out and Brown comes back in for Cashmere. Meanwhile, Paris Marchand comes back into the ballgame for Roback. Thanks for joining us here on our broadcast tonight on the stream. Hello to everybody watching us on Facebook. We'll try to say hi to some folks who might be streaming on the uh, Facebook feed here tonight. Meanwhile, lob pass underneath for a wide open Brown. Reverse layup is good. Peyton Brown with her first bucket of the ballgame. Drive down in the corner by Omak and Fjellman. Cut off there by Van Lith. Defense smothering for Kashmir. Ball loose on the floor, picked up, another turnover. That's eight in the ball game to Van Lith. Stutter step, jump pass, drive, outside. Erdman, three, no good. Rebound picked up by Omak underneath. It's Fjellman who comes up with it. Bounce pass across, dangerous pass, but back to Fjellman goes. A layup, no good. Rebound picked up by Erdman. Grace is doing a good job on the glass. We're going to get a timeout taken by Kashmir. It's a full timeout, so we'll take a 30-second break on the broadcast. With 5.20 to go here in the half, 32-10 our score. Kashmir over OMAC. We're back after this on the NCW Live channel. Uh, my name is Brian Thorpe. Uh, I own Global Car Care in Wenatchee and have been here for about 25 years. Brian started Global Car Care as Brian's Automotive Alternative on Arondo Street. Some customers were following Brian since uh, Brian's automotive time. No, we're just grateful to be part of this community. This is where I grew up. We want to do our part to be a valuable part of this community. We want to thank you for trusting our business for 25 years. Welcome back once again. Our broadcast here on the NCW Life Channel brought to you in part by Confluence Health, dedicated to improve their patients' health with safe, high-quality care in 12 communities throughout North Central Washington. Also by Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, your comfort train specialist specializing in commercial and residential HVAC systems. Online at dicksheatingwenatchee.com. Cashmere using its first time out of the game. It will be Bulldog basketball again. No pressure in the backcourt here as Cashmere leads it by 22. They'll work the offense outside. Go back door. Haley Van Lith. Beautiful pass from Erdman. She's fouled and will get two free throws. Doesn't get the bucket, but a beautiful pass from outside by Grace Erdman. Harris Marchand with the foul. That's her second. Haley Van Lith, meanwhile, who's two for three from the free throw line. Back there again. First free throw, no good. One more free throw to come for Haley Van Lith. Van Lith's high, by the way, this season. You're looking at that scoring record and scoring 42 points tonight. She collects the second free throw, so she's got five in the quarter, or five in the quarter, 15 in the game so far. As Omak, again, a little too high on the pass. Brown comes up with a loose ball. That's nine turnovers for Omak. Cashmere almost halfway to their total of turnovers. They like to get defensively in the game. Hammond cross court to Erdman. Erdman looking back door. Nobody open. So Riley Johnson collects it. Here's the drive for her. Kick across. Now outside. Here's three pointer for Hammond. Good. Fantastic ball movement for 
Cashmere. Grace Hammond with her first bucket of the ball game gives Cashmere its largest lead now at 26. And there is a oh foul called on Riley Johnson. Thought she got all ball there, but the official says nope. She got a little bit of the body, and so the foul on Riley is her first. That's the second team foul. By the way, he's talking about Haley's top performance. That was down in the. Uh, Holiday tournament in Portland over the uh, Christmas break. Here's a pass outside in the corner that goes to nobody. Finally picked up by Omak under there. Grumbling it out is Marchand. The ball knocked away. Here's Riley Johnson. She's got uh, Haley Van Lith. They're going to call a offensive foul. No bucket. No bucket. They're going to call a charge on Riley Johnson. Or excuse me, on Grace Hammond. That's Hammond's first third team foul. But against Beaverton in a 56-46 win, Haley scored 44 points. Her other high was 42 in her last game of the regular season against Okanagan. So she has the ability and has done it this year. A pass or a, a shot from outside missed by Marchand. Rebound defensive for Kashmir. Again, the Bulldogs lead it here. 26-point lead uh, just under halfway through the second quarter. Hammond goes down deep to Haley Van Lith. She'll shoot this time, not even use the backboard and make the shot. Van Lith with a couple of uh, field goals in this quarter. She's got seven in the quarter, 17 to the ball game. Outside, Haley picks up the defense and knocks the ball out of bounds, snaps her hands together, almost had the turnover. By the way, she's averaging over four steals a game this year. 4.8 steals, almost five steals per game. That's incredible. Pass down low. The drive, the shot off the window, no good. Rebound offensive underneath. We're going to get a hell ball called. And a possession arrow out to Omak. Inbounds pass, baseline left side. Fjellman looking for somebody, counts on, finally lobs it out to Michelle. Collects it back in the corner. Now the defense comes, lob pass underneath, a turnaround shot, and a foul called as it was Taya Mendoza underneath. The foul is on Grace Erdman. That's her second. Two free throws coming up for Taya Mendoza. This will be the first free throw shot of the game for Omak. By the way, the Pioneers have not scored in the second quarter yet. And she misses the first free throw. Substitutions here for Kashmir. Coming in is Millie Bruner. And meanwhile, back into the ball game is Alyssa Davis for Omak. One more free throw to come here for... Taya Mendoza, uh, rims won't fall, rebound tall for Haley Van Lith. Van Lith, up the court, comes with it. Stops and pops from the elbow, rim won't fall. Rebound tapped outside, picked up by Omak. Fjellman with it, she wants to go coast to coast, tried to draw the foul, doesn't. Rebound loose, and finally comes up in the hands of a pioneer, and now a shot taken from 12 feet, missed by Davis, who just checked in, and Haley Van Lith tripped from behind, slaps to the floor. See if she's okay. Looks like she's going to be all right. The foul is called on Omak, and that's on Aliyah Marchand. That's her second foul, and that should be free throws the other way. One and one here for Kashmir as they're now in the bonus. Substitution for the Bulldogs. Hammond will come out, and back in comes Jalen Darnell. And meanwhile, Haley Van Lith to the line for one and one. Again, 17 points for Haley in the ballgame so far. First free throw for Van Lith is good. What a career for Haley Van Lith. 2,840 points coming into this game tonight. She was 41 behind tying Jennifer Stinson for the all-time mark with 2,881. That was set by Stinson back in 1995. Haley makes both. And Haley comes and applies the defense. Ball loose on the floor. Bodies on the floor. A held ball call. Possession arrow out to Kazmir. And that's as good as a turnover. That gives Omak 10 here in this first half. 30-point lead for Kazmir. Just continues to grow. 40-10. to 10. Our score with 2.44 to go. Van Lith, top of the circle. Dribbles, pass the defense, lays it up. Good. She just has that other speed. And just 
capitalizes. Lob pass across for Omak. Here's a drive by the Pioneers. Left-handed shot, no good. Missed underneath by Davis. Rebound picked up by Van Lith. Haley, no look pass to the corner three-pointer by Hammond. It's no good. Van Lith rebound, put back, good. Van Lith with yet another bucket, 44-10 our score. Outside on the wing, down low. Here's a shot for two for Davis. It's no good. Rebound. Here's uh, Haley Van Lith again on the rebound. Haley's getting up towards 10 rebounds. Crossover step. Spins of the paint. Puts up the shot. Rims and falls. Yeah, I think she wants it tonight. She wants to get it over with tonight. 46-10 the score. Minute 45 to go. Here's a long three. Good. Finally, the string broken by Aliyah Marchand. The first bucket of the quarter comes with a minute 40 to go for Olmack here in the second frame. High post they'll go. Outside Van Lith for a three-pointer. Rims will fall. Offensive rebound. Underneath, fed outside. Here's a drive. Kick down. Riley Johnson brings it back outside. They go on the wing or in the uh, elbow. And now a drive for Haley. Laid it up. Missed the shot. Again, looking for that foul. She's not getting help from the officials here. As Omak gets the rebound, Pioneers bring it into the front court. As Mendoza goes down left in the corner, good job by Riley Johnson on the defense. Marchand looked at the three, won't shoot it. She's got Van Lith in her face with 57 seconds left in the quarter. Overplayed, and now a shot wide open. Miss, rebound tap, picked up offensive. Now a block underneath. Paul picked up by Van Lith. 45 seconds left, so Cashmere's going to have to shoot again. Haley's going to shoot the three-pointer. It's no good. Rebound by the Pioneers underneath as Mendoza comes up with it. The outlet pass to Marchand. Elia Marchand gives it back to Mendoza. Mendoza in the corner, dribbles away from the pressure. Bounce pass across the paint. And it comes out on the wing. The ball stolen away by Van Lift. She wants to take it all the way herself. She'll go coast to coast, lay it up, and miss the shot. Draws the foul. 11 turnovers forced on Omak here in this first half of play. The foul is on Sydney Nichols. That's her third personal foul. Nine team fouls on Omak. And again, Van Lith to the line to shoot two. Fifteen points already for Haley in this quarter. First free throw is good. Give her 16 in the quarter, 26 in the ball game. Substitution, Millie Bruner comes out. Allie Ball comes in for the first time for Cashmere. Second free throw by Van Lith is no good. Rebound tapped underneath. It's picked up by Olmack as Marchand got it. She gave up her dribble, though, so the defense comes on her. Now she'll pass it up to Arsenega. Arsenega going to dribble across the timeline with seven seconds on the half. Nice feed inside for the right-handed shot from the left side. It's no good. Rebound swiped at. And then picked up by Omak, and that's going to be the last play of our first half of play where it is all cashmere here in the first half as they allow only three points by Omak in the second quarter. They lead it here at halftime in this District 6 1A championship. 47 13 over OMAC. We'll take a two minute break and come back here from halftime at Eastbourne High School right after this on the NCW Life Channel. Amanda and we are from Impact Auto Sales. Or you can expect a hassle-free 
every car buying experience. With our wide selection of used cars, trucks, and SUVs, let one of our friendly sales staff help you find the vehicle that fits your lifestyle. We have financing available for all credit types and great low rates for first-time buyers. Call us today at 888-8000 or stop by 3522 State Highway 97A in Wenatchee. Impact Auto Sales, where we strive to make an impact on your life and not your wallet. Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning has been proudly serving the Wenatchee Valley for over 35 years. And just as Dick's has been there for you, they have also been an essential part of our community, supporting local youth sports all year long. And your Wenatchee Wild. Thanks for your support. Hey, Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning for all your support. Thank you. Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, your local independent train comfort specialist. Call 884 64 Four four today. Welcome back once again here to Eastmont High School as the Cashmere Cheer Squad is out there entertaining a good crowd on hand here for the District 6 1A Championship where the Cashmere Bulldogs have uh, gone out to an early halftime lead here 47 to 13 over the OMAC Pioneers outscoring OMAC 26 10 in the first quarter and 21 3 in the second to lead it 47 to 13 here at halftime unofficial totals in that first half of play Elian Marshan leading the way for OMAC with six points Taya Mendoza with four points, Trinity Fjellman with three points. OMAC 0 for 2 in that first half of play from the free throw line, and they turned it over 11 times. We did have four lead changes early in the going here, back and forth. OMAC uh, led last by a score of 5 to 4, but then Kashmir went on a 19 0 run, and that really was the difference in this one so far as uh, Kashmir just continued to port it on in that second quarter of play. The uh, Bulldogs. Uh, halftime lead here of uh, 34 points is their largest in the ball game. Meanwhile, for the Bulldogs, they're led by Haley Van Lith with 26 points at halftime. Grace Erdman with nine, Riley Johnson with seven, Grace Hammond with three, and Peyton Brown with two. Bulldogs eight of 12 from the free throw line of that first half of play and three turnovers unofficially in one half. Again, our score here at halftime, Kashmir 47, OMAC 13. We'll come back with more, catch up to date on some other scores that have happened and uh, tell you what else is coming up here on the NCW Live channel. So stay tuned and thanks for joining us for the District 6 1A Championship where Kashmir leads the OMAC Pioneers 47-13 at half. We're back with more after this two-minute timeout. Highlander Golf Course is proud to announce their two new state-of-the-art full-swing golf simulators with over 80 courses of virtual golf to choose from year-round. Or try their laser shot simulated firearm program or gaming with football, basketball, and much more. Enjoy Highlander food and drink service from their full-service bar and grill in the comfort of their simulator room. Call the Highlander Pro Shop to book your time at 884-4653. That's 884-4653. At Harvest Valley Pest Control, we know you are committed to making your home and business a healthy and pest-free place. Hi, I'm David. Give us a call and we'll give you a firm price over the phone and schedule a time that works for you. We'll do an in-depth 30-point healthy home or business inspection and craft a customized plan of action designed specifically for your pest issue. Give us a call or visit our website today. JDSA Law is a proud sponsor of these local sports broadcasts. They've been serving North Central and Eastern Washington since 1946. For over 70 years, their team of dedicated professionals has delivered quality, innovative legal services. JDSA Law partners with you to provide the finest legal advice and support as you navigate your personal and business challenges, risks, and accomplishments. At JDSA Law, they salute our local athletes and wish them well on another excellent season of competition. No sweeteners, all smiles. Bubbly, sparkling water. Crack a smile.
once again here to Eastmont High School, the host site for the District 6 1A tournament. Earlier in action, the first game of the day was a girls matchup between Okanagan and Chelan in a loser out contest. And the Chelan Goats had plenty of opportunities to uh, take the lead but did not and just could not hit their shots as they fall to Okanagan 38-29. Uh, Daniel Sparks led the way for the Bulldogs with 12 points in the victory. So Okanagan advances. Chelan season comes to an end. Uh, following that in the boys' uh, loser out game, it was Omak and Chelan boys. And uh, back and forth contest. Uh, Riley Davis scored 21 as Omak had a big third quarter. And they go on for a 71-64 victory. They led by as many as 22 points in the third quarter as uh, Chelan just had things completely come off the rails in that third quarter of play as uh, they were outscored in the frame by a score of 22 to 6 by Omac as uh, the Pioneers led a 56-38 at the end of the third and would hold on for the 71-64 victory. The uh, Chelan Goats led by the 15 points each of Connor Wilson and Braden Boyd. Meanwhile, 21 points for Riley Davis to lead uh, four players in double figures for the Pioneers as they advance and they will face the loser of the game coming up between Kashmir and Okanagan. And that has been an interesting matchup. And this will be the third time they've played in 10 days, for goodness sakes. So uh, always tough to play a team multiple times in one season and come up with a similar result. But well, that's what the Kashmir boys will do uh, here tonight. First of all, uh, still a half to be played. And I guess the question mark now is with Haley Van Lis scoring 26 points in one half a play. That means if you do the math, she needs 18 to surpass the record. So we'll see if she's able to do that here in the second half. Actually, 16 points, and she would surpass the record, the state record for scoring in a career by a girl in the state of Washington. We will take a break and come back. Get you ready for second half action right after this 60-second timeout. You're watching the District 6 1A Championship where Kashmir leads OMAC at halftime. 47-13. We're back with more right after this. At Town Toyota, we believe in our community, and we're proud to support this broadcast of local sports. Town Toyota defines reliability and value in both its products and in the dealership itself. We are home to legendary products like the RAV4, Highlander, and Camry, not to mention Tundras and Tacoma trucks. Of course, we offer service for everything we sell and a great selection of pre-owned and certified vehicles as well. So enjoy the game and visit Town Toyota for all your automotive needs. When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation, and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned, a privilege, an honor. And we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. Welcome back once again here to Eastmont High School as we get ready for second half action. It'll be OMAC basketball to start the second half of play, and they've got their starting five out there, as does the Casper Bulldogs, Paris Marchand, Trinity Fielman, Casey Varaska, Sydney Nichols, and Alyssa Davis out there. Excuse me, uh, Varaska, Nichols, uh, Alea, Marchand, and Taya Mendoza out there for the OMAC Pioneers to start the second half. It's Haley Van Lith, Grace Hammond, Peyton Brown, Riley Johnson, and Grace Erdman for the Cashmere Lady Bulldogs. Appreciate you joining us here on the NCW Life Channel. Big crowd on hand here at East Bond High School tonight. Omak turns the ball over, and that would be their 12th of the game. Haley Van Lith just needs 16 more. She splits the defense, puts up the shot, won't go, but draws the foul, and will get some free throws. The foul is whistled on Sydney Nichols. That's her fourth personal foul. So she's got a long way to go. And they'll quickly grab for a replacement for her. Meanwhile, Van Lith to the line. First free throw is good. Haley now with 27 points. Again, she needed 41 to tie, 42 to break the record of a state girls scoring championship. 
Second free throw by Van Lith is good. 28 in the ball game for Haley as we'll continue that countdown. As Kashmir's lead now at its largest. Here's a long three-pointer good from way downtown by Aliyah Marchand. She's got nine in the ball game, cuts the lead to 23 at 49, excuse me, 33. Here's a drive by Van Lith, left-handed shot from the left side, no good on the reverse. Rebound picked up by Olmack. As uh, Dale Marshall, now the ball stolen away, back the other way goes Hammond, she's fouled. And we'll get some free throws. Another turnover by Olmack, that's now 13 turnovers unofficially here in the ball game. The foul is whistled on Trinity Fjellman, that's her first. Hammond at the line. She's got three points here tonight. Two free throws for her. First is no good. Gashbeer was 8 of 12 from the line in that first half of play. They're now 10 of 15 in the game. Second free throw by Hammond. Short-armed it. No good. Rebound tapped by Van Lith, but they're going to say she was over the back when she did so. So that'll be the first foul on Kashmir. First foul on Haley. 49-16 the score. We're in that range here where we could get a running clock. And if we do get a running clock, that'll hurt the chances of Van Lith on getting that scoring championship. Here's a shot off the back of the iron. No good. Rebound tall by Van Lith. Haley runs it across the midcourt stripe. Kicks it out in the corner for a Hammond three-pointer. Good. Grace Hammond for three. Well, she knows how to shoot from the line. It's just not the free throw line. <laughs> it's that one further out. Long pass down low on the corner. Now they get it inside. Outside it comes. Here's a long three-pointer. It rattles in and out. No good. Rebound by Van Lith. Haley wants to run it. Uh, three on two. Drives in the lane. Lays it up. Good. Van Lith with four in the quarter. She's got 30 in the ball game. She's 12 away. Drive and kick outside to Marchand. Aliyah Marchand picked up way outside by Grace Erdman. Bounce pass stolen away by Van Lith. Haley's got Erdman with her behind the back pass a little bit too strong and goes out of bounds. A turnover by Cashmere, their fourth of the game. Haley trying to be a little too fancy in front of a big crowd here tonight. Talked that uh, with her coach, and she's admitted it too. She loves the big crowd. Love it when a lot of people come out. And Kashmir's been playing in front of a lot of people all season. Here's a big three from outside by Mendoza. She's got seven. Timeout going to be taken by Kashmir. 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Our broadcast tonight brought to you in part by Global Car Care, a quality auto, re auto repair facility with highly trained technicians celebrating over 25 years in the car care business. They speak your car's language at 1840 North Wenatchee Avenue, also by Harvest Valley Pest Control. You can rest assured Harvest Valley Pest Control uses kid and pet safe material around your home or office. Call today for your free estimate. We have a big cast on hand here tonight, just not in the crowd, but also helping us with a broadcast here. Dan Kuntz, our line producer, also teaming up as a cameraman here right next to me. As we're bringing you a three-camera shoot here tonight, we've got Jessica Munoz out top. Now a lob pass underneath for Van Lith. Got the defense. I think she traveled first. No, they're going to say a foul on the floor before the shot. Good pass on the entry after the timeout into her. The foul is whistled on Braska. That's her second. Inbounds pass comes in to Erdman. She'll hand it back to Haley. Haley on the drive, cuts through the lane, puts up the shot, can't get it to go, but again draws the foul. Well, she may have to get that record one free throw at a time. The foul is on Veraska. That's her third. Already four team fouls on Olmack. And Van Lith to the line for two. She's got four in the quarter, 30 in the ball game already. Second free throw, or first free throw is good. Substitution here for Omak as in comes Paris Marchand, the 5'7 freshman, will replace Casey Vraska, who has to take a seat with three fouls. One more free throw to come for Haley Van Lith. Second one's on the way, nothing but net. Swoosh. 
Van Lith with two, gives her six, gives her 32 in the game. She's 10 points away from the record. And the lead, by the way, is at 47 points for Kashmir. Unbelievable what this team continues to do. And now Omak gives the ball back as they go over and back the turnover on the Pioneers. Their third here in the second half, their 14th of the game. Say hello to some of the folks that are watching us on our Facebook stream right now. Susan, hello, Susan. Carl's out there watching. Janet, my neighbor. Hello, Janet. Kasmer turns the ball over inside. Their second turnover of the second half. Here's a drive. A pass between the uh, key and knocked around. Body falls down. The ball goes out of bounds off of Kasmer and will be out to Omak. Inbounding the ball will be Trinity Fjellman. Baseline right side, lob pass out top to Paris Marchand. She'll give it up to uh, Aaliyah Marchand. Defense comes on her. Could have been carried for a, called for a carry out top, but no call. They'll give it up to Paris. Paris lob pass underneath. Ball knocked around, picked up by Kashmir. Now they're forced to turnover. Lob pass ahead to Haley. She'll lay it up. Good. Van Lith. Eight in the quarter for Van Lith. 34 in the ball game. Lob pass down low, too tall for Paris Marchand. Goes out of bounds. Right past Anna, handling camera duties down low. And another turnover for Omak. Pioneers will make a replacement here. Maria Campos will come in for the first time. As Kashmir is a bucket away from starting the running clock. As they work the ball out top, Erdman with it on the wing right. Gives it up to Johnson. Here's a three-pointer for Riley. It's no good. Rebound underneath. Peyton Brown was there. Peyton Brown will get down and get after it. I'm going to get a held ball called. And the possession arrow out to Omak. Substitution here for Kashmir. As into the ball game comes Allie Ball, and she will replace Peyton Brown. Inbounds pass baseline right. Gets it into Haley. Turnaround shot. Good. Haley Van Lith. 10 in the quarter, 36 of the ball game. Six away from the record. Here's out top, long three by Michelle. Off the back of the iron, no good. Offensive rebound, hustle four, but then a <laughs> hell ball called underneath. Possession arrow out to Omak. Good hustle play underneath for Kashmir by Grace Hammond. Getting down and getting after it. Substitution here for the Bulldogs. As Jalen Darnell comes back in, she'll replace Grace Hammond. Hammond will get a big hand from the Kashmir crowd assembled here at East Vaughn High School. Pass inbounds comes in. Down low on the baseline is Campos. Campos gives it up to Michelle. Michelle looking for help. Finds Marchand out top. Marchand lob pass underneath for Michelle. Bumps into Erdman. Ball picked up. Loose. Knocked around. Loose again. Comes outside for a long three-pointer. Hits the back of the iron. No good. Offensive rebound. Foul on the putback by Michelle after the three-point miss by Aaliyah Marchand. Foul is on Kashmir's Grace Erdman. That's her third. That is the second team foul on Kashmir here in the second half. We'll get some substitutions after the first free throw attempt by Zadeja Michelle. She's yet to get in the scorebook tonight. First free throw for her is no good. One more to come. Substitution in for the Bulldogs is Millie Bruner. Also back in for Omak is Alyssa Davis. We will have a break in between games. Get you the net cut, net cord ceremony. Hopefully talk to Coach Darnell and somebody else. Now a feed pass ahead. Beautiful pass. And the layup is good by Ali Ball. Ball with a bucket. 62-19 to score. 318 to go here in the third quarter. Dribbling out top is Elisa Davis. Oh, nearly a steal there. Good thought. Kick outside on the drive. Here's Omak in the paint with the run. No good on the shot by Marchand. Rebound defensive for Johnson. To, Han to Van Lith for a three-pointer. Good. Haley Van Lith for three. She's seven points away from the record. 2.45 left. Haley Van Lith show tonight. Ball loose. Another turnover. And they had Haley streaking down the court, but they couldn't get, collect the ball soon enough. Riley Johnson will slow it down at the center circle. 
Riley. Cross court pass to Haley. Three pointer on the way. Good! <laughs> Haley Van Lift. And they're going to say a timeout taken by Cashmere. 68-19 is the score. 3-6. That's it. That's it for Haley Van Lift. She has broken the state record with that three pointer. Haley has eclipsed the mark by Jennifer Stinson. Haley Van Lift. with 2,882 points, and she's not done yet. But Van Lith with a standing ovation here by the crowd tonight. Jennifer Stinson, who, by the way, is the current volleyball coach at Washington State University, set the record back in 1995 at Davenport High School of 2,881. Now Haley Van Lith tonight with 42 points has eclipsed that mark. Congratulations to Haley Van Lith. And boy, are we privileged to be able to watch it here on the NCW Life channel. Great job, kiddo. 219 left in the third, 68-19 the score. All cashmere here tonight. OMAC basketball. That question mark has now been answered. Now it's just playing out the string. Drive on the baseline. Bounce pass across, stolen away. Good job of stepping in front by Alley Ball. Another turnover by OMAC. That's now seven in this second half. Haley Van Lith on the drive. Cross court pass. Here's a three pointer. Rims won't fall. Rebound offensive. Put back by Millie Bruner. No good. Put back by Haley. Good. 44 points for Haley Van Lith. And she's a long way from being done. She's got a regional game in two weeks and possibly three state games in Yakima. Going to get a foul called on a loose ball out top. The foul is whistled against Cashmere. And Millie Bruner, that's her first. That's the third team foul on Cashmere. Inbounds pass comes with a minute and a half to go. Again, running clock here. Lob pass underneath, stolen, or is uh, saved in bounds, but Cashmere stepping in front, Omak in the corner, and we're going to get a timeout taken by the Pioneers. Timeout taken is a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Our broadcast tonight here on the NCW Life Channel brought to you in part by Highlander Golf Course and Grill. Call the Pro Shop to schedule your time on their full swing S4 widescreen golf simulators at 884-4653. Plan your next tournament or event today, also by Impact Auto Sales. They strive to impact your life, not your wallet. You can expect a hassle-free car buying experience at Impact Auto Sales in Wenatchee. And by Jefferson Danielson Son and Aylward Attorneys, delivering quality and innovative legal services to North Central Washington since 1946, online at jdsalaw.com. Well, obviously, post-game, we'll try to grab and talk to Haley Van Lith. We'll talk to Coach Darnell about... An incredible night tonight here for the for the uh, Bulldogs as they continue doing amazing things. A scrum loose ball on the floor, and guess who's on the bottom of the stack? Haley Van Lith again, just the ultimate competitor. Held ball call, possession arrow is out to Omak. Hello, Mickey and uh, Susanna White. Kim, Olinda. Russ Wills, all watching on our Facebook feed here tonight. As Haley Van Lith, if you're just joining us, has set the record. She has 44 points in the game, and we are just getting towards the end of the third quarter. Turnover by OMAC. They're eighth here of the half, 19th of the ball game. So Cashmere, Coach Darnell says he doesn't care about what the scoreboard says as long as we win and get 20 turnovers. Well, they're on the edge of that. Van Lith, dribble step, drive, dish. Bruner, bucket, good. Millie Bruner is in the scorebook. 25 seconds left in the quarter. Shot clock is off. Kashmir led at 47-13. Omak with just six points here in the third quarter. Here's a drive and a bucket, just as I said. Alyssa Davis breaks a string. Eight seconds left. 
Van Lith for three. Rims won't fall. Rebound offensive. They'll get it back to her again. She'll shoot again. Miss it again. Rebound tapped, and it's going to be the end of the third quarter. All cashmere here tonight as they lead Omax 72 to 21. We'll take a 30-second break and come back for the fourth quarter of action here at the District 6 1A Championship at East Bond High School where Kashmir leads OMAC after three, 72-21. We're back after this. No sweeteners, all smiles. Bubbly, sparkling water. Crack a smile. Delicious for Haley Van Lith and the Cashmere Lady Bulldogs on our Facebook feed. Hello to Carrie and Lisa, our own Lisa Branshaw, watching us on the Facebook stream now as Haley Van Lith has uh, yet another milestone in her career. But she is not done. She has been adamant about this ever since she was a freshman. That she wants to win a state championship. And this is a workmanlike approach here for Kashmir and for Haley. And the ball gets into Haley. She'll kick it outside. They'll quickly move the ball around back into Haley. Puts up the shot among four. Good. <laughs> 46 points for Haley Van Lith tonight. Omak back the other way as Kashmir leads it 74-21. Here's a long three. Off the mark, no good. Rebound is a defensive by Darnell. Darnell needs some help. Passes outside for an Erdman three-pointer, or excuse me, Hammond three-pointer. It's no good. Rebound underneath by Omak as Mendoza comes up with it. Outlet pass is to Marchand. Paris stops, feeds it off to Fjellman. Fjellman, outside it goes to Nichols. Nichols on the drive, puts up the right-handed runner. She's fouled and will get two free throws. The foul is whistled on Grace. That's her Erdman. That's her fourth personal foul. Uh, four team fouls per side here. And Sidney Nichols at the free throw line misses the front end. Omak is 0 for the line so far in the game. They're 0 for 5 from the free throw line. Second free throw, good, finally. And uh, Sidney Nichols is in the scorebook here tonight. Haley Van Lith running the offense with a running clock here. Pass down in the corner. Haley got a fist to the face. Three-pointer good from way outside by Jalen Darnell. Darnell's in the books. That'll be the task for Kashmir now. Is to see if they can get everybody a chance to score here tonight. Over on the right side to Paris Marchand. Freshman drives, stops. Passes outside. Here's Nichols for a three. It's an air ball. Goes out of bounds. So oh, saved inbounds. Right to Kashmir. Guess who? Haley Van Lith comes up with it. She'll dribble. Stop at the free throw line. Cross court pass for three. Good. Grace Hammond. Hammond with nine points. Pass in the corner to Marchand. Outside it comes to Fjellman, and she is bumped by... Kashmir, and that's going to be number five on Grace Erdman. So Grace will foul out with nine points. She wanted to stay on the floor, but unfortunately her night will come to an end. Haley Van Lith will check out. I don't think that Coach Darnell knows that uh, Grace Hammond has fouled out. Now they finally grab a replacement for her. Millie Bruner will check out. That could be the final uh, stanza for Haley tonight. She's broken the record. They're going to win this game. No need to get her injured or anything like that. Foul inside is called as the shot was taken by Mendoza. Foul is on Riley Johnson. That's her second foul. It will be a shooting foul as Taya Mendoza will head to the free throw line for two shots. She's got seven points here tonight. Number 
Well, she gets one of the two. Rebound picked up underneath here for Cashmere by Darnell. Darnell brings it across the midcourt stripe. Rifles a pass down to Hammond in the corner. Hammond directing traffic will come out between the circles. Man defense here for Omak. Beautiful drive by Riley Johnson. Feeds inside. Bruner kicks it outside for a Hammond three-pointer. Rims off the back of the iron. No good. Rebound picked up by Fjellman. Fjellman had the ball plucked from her by Johnson. Johnson saves it right back to her, though. Now a running shot. Drive. Missed the shot. Rebound tap. Picked up underneath. We're going to get a hell ball called. And a possession arrow is out to Omak. Substitution here for Cashmere. Gabby Terrell Lewis comes in. Grace Hammond will come out. Gets a big hug from Coach Darnell. And the inbounds pass comes in. And banging into the shooter was Millie Bruner. She'll collect the foul. And that foul on Millie will be her second. And to the free throw line again goes Taya Mendoza. So how about the Cashmere Bulldogs? They will win their fourth consecutive district championship be in line for the regional championship in two weeks yeah you can't play again for two weeks i don't know about that first free throw was good by mendoza she's got one more and missed it rebound picked up by cashmere outlet comes out to ball alley ball gives it up to johnson riley with a crossover dribble bounce pass underneath to bruner she's got the ball loose somehow find some help from ball now they'll work it around on the perimeter. 10 on the shot clock. Johnson feed down left. Here's a three-pointer. Rims off. No good. Nice looking shot by Allie Ball, but she missed it. Rebound picked up by Omak. They run the other floor, the end of the floor. Miss a left-handed runner, but the pass on the uh, rebound is a little too strong. Goes out of bounds. Turnover by Cashmere with four minutes and six seconds. The clock continues to run with Cashmere leading it by a very large margin. We will have a break in between the two games, gang. We will bring you the... Uh, Net cord ceremony for Cashmere. Rebound on a missed shot here. Dribbles off of a foot and goes out of bounds. That's off of Cashmere. And now Coach Abel's going to empty his bench for Omak. And that will be it for uh, the rest of those pioneers that were on the floor. Clock continues to run with 3.30. If you're wondering, well, how come they didn't stop the clock? Well, you get ahead by 40 points. It's a running clock unless somebody calls a timeout. Here's a long three-pointer. Good! Rip Corden by Alaya Marchand, who just checked back in. She's got 12 points to lead the Pioneers tonight. 3.14 to go. Beautiful pass underneath for a wide-open layup by Bruner is good. Millie's got four. Cashmere up 82-27. Three minutes left. Michelle on the perimeter. Looking for help. That defense by Cashmere. I'll tell you what, they are deep and they continue to play tenacious. You get a chance to get on the floor for the Bulldogs and you're going to see defense. Foul is whistled on Cashmere's Terrell Lewis. That's her first. Substitution here for Cashmere. Riley Johnson is going to check out. Get a big hug from Coach. Get a high five from the rest of the bench for Cashmere. Meanwhile, to the line for Omak goes Giselle Arsenega. First free throw, no good on the one and one. She missed it. And a rebound picked up underneath by Millie Bruner. She'll give it up to Terrell Lewis, and she'll run the offense here for Cashmere. Pass down low in the corner. Darnell looked at the three, won't shoot it. They'll get it outside. Here's the drive. Bounce pass, beautiful to Bruner. Missed the shot, however. Rebound by Omak. 2.24 to go. The boys' game coming up, Omak, or excuse me, Okanagan and Kashmir are going to be a lot different than what we're seeing right here. I can tell you that. Drive by Omak's Shadeja Michelle, and she's fouled. Foul is whistled on Kashmir, and this is on Jalen Darnell. It's her first. It'll be nine team fouls on Kashmir. And Michelle for two free throws. Omak has just had a hard time from the floor tonight. They've had a hard time against that pressuring defense by Cashmere and uh, have not done well from the free throw line either. Missed the first one, does Michelle. One more free throw to come. And it's good. 
A little pressure by Omak applied here. Lob pass ahead for Kashmir to Haley Larson, who checked in. Here's a three-pointer. It's an air ball too strong off the shot by Darnell. Darnell steps in the passing lane, knocks the ball out of bounds. Nice job of hustling back, even though she missed the shot. She got in there. Here's some substitutions more for Kashmir as Maddie Hammond will come in. Also checking in. Okay, I guess we're back. I lost power there for a minute. Yeah, we lost power for a minute. You know, we had somebody step on the uh, power switch. <laughs> All right, so it is OMAC basketball trailing at 82-28. Inbounds pass comes in as they'll get it into Arsenega. She'll start the dribble, split the defense, put up the runner with the left hand, no good, got her own rebound. Outlet pass comes outside as they'll work it on the perimeter with a minute 15 to go. Lob pass inside, beautiful defense of trying to defend by Alley Ball, knocks the ball out of bounds by Kashmir. It's out to Omak. Clock continues to run. We will have the uh, post game net cord cut down ceremony here for Kashmir, and we'll try to grab Coach Darnell and also Haley Van Lith, who sets the record here tonight. Lob pass underneath, and again, Kashmir stepping into those passing lanes. Cameron Phillips knocked that ball down as she checked in. 45 seconds left. Inbounds pass comes in out top. And how many times has Kashmir played with a running clock this year? A lot of times, as a matter of fact. Good, tenacious defense again. 33 seconds left. They've got five on the shot clock. Does Omak. Outside it comes to Davis. Alyssa needs to shoot it, and they're not going to get the shot off before a shot clock violation is called. And Coach Darnell will be happier about that than almost anything else. Fifth, 17 seconds left here for Kashmir. Wrapping up the district championship. It's all in the can except for the score. Ten seconds left. Nine, eight seconds left. Seven, five seconds left in another district championship. Here's a lay-in good by Maddie Hammond. And that will be it. And Kashmir will rush the court and celebrate as the Bulldogs win the district championship. 84 to 28 complete domination here for the Kashmir Bulldogs as they repeat as district champs and will head to the regional probably at Wenatchee High School and probably two weeks from tonight. We'll take a quick break and get you some interviews hopefully coming up next here on the NCW Life Channel right after this. JDSA Law is a proud sponsor of these local sports broadcasts. They've been serving North Central and Eastern Washington since 1946. For over 70 years, their team of dedicated professionals has delivered quality, innovative legal services. JDSA Law partners with you to provide the finest legal advice and support as you navigate your personal and business challenges, risks, and accomplishments. At JDSA Law, they salute our local athletes and wish them well on another excellent season of competition. At Town Toyota, we believe in our community, and we're proud to support this broadcast of local sports. Town Toyota defines reliability and value in both its products and in the dealership itself. We are home to legendary products like the RAV4, Highlander, and Camry, not to mention Tundras and Tacoma trucks. Of course, we offer service for everything we sell and a great selection of pre-owned and certified vehicles as well. So enjoy the game and visit Town Toyota for all your automotive needs. At Harvest Valley Pest Control, we know you are committed to making your home and business a healthy and pest-free place. Hi, I'm David. Give us a call and we'll give you a firm price over the phone and schedule a time that works for you. We will do an in-depth 30-point healthy home or business inspection and craft a customized plan of action designed specifically for your pest issue. Give us a call or visit our website today.
favorites of Frappita Mocha with Whip? The espresso shakes are my most favorite because I can get any flavor. Uh, peanut butter chocolate Frappita. Definitely the espresso shakes. My favorite is the Mocha Frappitas. A peach Red Bull. When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation, and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned, a privilege, an honor. And we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. Welcome back here on the post game show on the NCW Life Channel. The Cashmere Bulldogs repeat as the district champions. Now talking with head coach Brent Darnell. Well, coach, congratulations. First of all, I know this is a stepping stone. You get that first step out of the way here. You win the regular season championship. Now the district championship. Congratulations. Yeah, you know what? It's never easy. Uh, sometimes those girls make it look easy, but it's not as easy sometimes as it looks. So really proud for them and, and their moment to, to win this one uh, in this crowd, in this environment. And then with Haley breaking that record, that was pretty special tonight. I, I know that meant a lot, not only to her, but our team and our community and, and everybody that supports her. It's been a great ride. Uh, wish we could hit the pause button. It's going fast, but <laughs> still got more work to do, and Absolutely. we know that. I don't want to take you too long here so you don't miss anything, although it's, it looks like kind of a bare, uh, dull pair of scissors over there for the net cord ceremony. Um, it, she had that look tonight, like she wanted to get this done and get this yeah. over with. Yeah, no, she did. She usually always looks like that, though. She always <laughs> looks like she's mad. She comes to practice and she looks <laughs> mad. That's just how she plays. She's the sweetest girl in the world uh, off the court. But, man, on the court, that girl's just an absolute assassin. And, and uh, she was aware of it. Our team was aware of it. I think everybody was aware of it. And everybody was hoping she would actually get it. Uh, and I'm glad she got it, and, and it's over now, and we can just focus on on playing together as a team and moving forward. But listen, she's a big part of what she what, what we do, and she that's a normal night for her. Yeah. You know, it's not like she had an extraordinary night. Right. I don't know what she finished with 44, 45. Yeah, something like 46. That. Yeah. So unbelievable night for her, but she's done that quite a few times. So, but pretty special night for her. That was great to do it down here in this environment pretty happy I, w I was saying uh, towards the end of the game you got a shot clock violation on Omac and I said that that coach Darnell will probably be as proud of that as anything else here tonight yeah, I always get <laughs> ripped on by my girls for preaching defense 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 rebound rebound rebounding uh, but there's nights the ball doesn't go in like it did tonight and uh, you want to stay in games uh, that's the way to do it and our five came off the bench and haven't played and man they know that they know if they're gonna go in they better play defense and that's how they earn their minutes but our girls have bought into that. They, they really like it. Uh, they know how important it is now. They bought in. Uh, they see the results of it. And, and it's really made us great on both sides of the ball, you know. Obviously, Haley's going to score a lot. Right. Uh, but we have some other players that can score, too. But, man, when we're we're going on defense, we're they're, that's a good group. Well, and Grace Hammond with that three-pointer from outside. I mean, that is deadly. Yes, yeah. She's been shooting her well all yeah. season long. She is so confident, too. Uh, she does so much for us. Opens up a lot of things. Riley Johnson, too. Riley from a freshman last year. This year has come a long way. They all have. It's been a, a really fun, fun team. Um, don't want it to end. But this is the best part of the season. You know, this last three or four weeks are just a dream. They're just so fun to play. And these games are so fun. And with this team, sharing these moments with them is never forget them. Well, we're going to try to talk to Haley, too. I know she's going to be a very popular person, as she always is, uh, as we continue with the postgame show. Congratulations on, on the continued success for you and for your entire program, and we'll see you here in two weeks at the regional tournament. Yep, we're excited. Thanks, Eric, and thank you guys for all the coverage. You guys do a great job. You bet. You know, Brent Darnell joining us here on the postgame show. He's got to go cut down some net cord. We're going to talk to Haley Van Lith coming up on the postgame as she sets the record in Cashmere, wins the district title. We're back right after this. At Town Toyota, we believe in our community, and we're proud to support this broadcast of local sports. 
Town Toyota defines reliability and value in both its products and in the dealership itself. We are home to legendary products like the RAV4, Highlander, and Camry, not to mention Tundras and Tacoma trucks. Of course, we offer service for everything we sell and a great selection of pre-owned and certified vehicles as well. So enjoy the game and visit Town Toyota for all your automotive needs. No calories, no sweeteners, all smiles. Bubbly, sparkling water. Crack a smile. Highlander Golf Course is proud to announce their two new state-of-the-art full-swing golf simulators with over 80 courses of virtual golf to choose from year-round. Or try their laser shot simulated firearm program. Or gaming with football, basketball, and much more. Enjoy Highlander food and drink service from their full-service bar and grill in the comfort of their simulator room. Call the Highlander Pro Shop to book your time at 884-4653. That's 884-4653. What's your auto mocha emergency? It's a Frappita Mocha with Whip. The espresso shakes are my most favorite because I can get any flavor. Uh, peanut butter chocolate Frappita. Definitely the espresso shakes. My favorite is the Mocha Frappita. Peach Red Bull. JDSA Law is a proud sponsor of these local sports broadcasts. They've been serving North Central and Eastern Washington since 1946. For over 70 years, their team of dedicated professionals has delivered quality, innovative legal services. JDSA Law partners with you to provide the finest legal advice and support as you navigate your personal and business challenges, risks, and accomplishments. At JDSA Law, they salute our local athletes and wish them well on another excellent season of competition. Hi there, it's Les Schwab Tires. Well, more like Les Schwab alignment and brakes and shocks and wheels and tires. Now, some tire places don't offer all that. They only sell tires. And we're not sure how they sleep at night because all those services affect things like steering and stopping. That's why we offer more than tires to help keep you safe. Stop by or book an appointment at LesSchwab.com. Les Schwab Tires, doing the right thing since 1952. Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning has been proudly serving the Wenatchee Valley for over 35 years. And just as Dick's has been there for you, they have also been an essential part of our community, supporting local youth sports all year long and your Wenatchee Wild. Thanks for your support. Thanks. Heating and Air Conditioning, your local, independent train comfort specialist. Call 884-6444 today. When the people you serve are your friends and family, you see the world a bit differently. You understand that your survival depends on the health and strength of your relationships. Your word is your reputation, and that doing the right thing is the only way of life that matters. At Confluence Health, we remain humble. Trust is a gift that is earned a privilege, an honor, and we remain grateful for the trust you place in our hands. Here on the postgame show on the NCW Life Channel is the Cashmere Bulldogs win the district championship here over OMAC by a final of 84 to 28, now visiting with Haley Van Lith who now holds the record. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell me about this night and getting ready for this game. And, and I know you know you had to get it. You had 42 points. Did you want to get it done tonight? Yeah, I think uh, it was important for me to do it in front of my community since they've been a part of this whole journey for me. And just to have them here and uh, witness it was great. It was a great atmosphere for my team. But at the end of the day, um, I just wanted to win the game. So if I didn't get it tonight, uh, that would have been fine. I would have been just fine with the dub. Let's talk about your defense mm -hmm. and this defense of this team. I mean, they say defense wins championships. Man, I mean, you, again, you hold these guys in check tonight. Tonight, Do you take as much pride in that as you do in scoring? Yeah, I think uh, 
credit to Coach Charnel. Um, he, in practice, he harps on us, harps on us, harps on us on our defense, and he expects nothing but perfect from us. Even if we're winning by a lot and we're sloppy on defense, like the next day of practice we're running. So uh, we're just lucky we have a coach that holds us accountable and a bunch of girls who want to work hard. So this looks like a business person approach for you guys, though. I mean, you're not done yet. You mm -hmm. want to win that state championship. This is just the first of many steps, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. We have our eyes set on one goal, for sure. Well, congratulations on Thank the win you. tonight. Congratulations on being the top scorer of any girl ever in the state of Washington. That's Thank pretty you cool. So much. You bet. Haley Van Lith joining us here on the post game show. That's going to wrap it up for game one. We got the boys. Hey, Cashmere boys got a win tonight. Oh, yeah. too. They take on Okanagan. We'll have that for you coming up next here on the NCW Live channel. Thanks for watching High School Sports on the NCW Live channel. Tonight's broadcast was brought to you by. Harvest Valley Pest Control, Dick's Heating and Air Conditioning, Global Car Care, Les Schwab Tires, Biosports Physical Therapy, Impact Auto Sales, The Highlander Golf Course and Grill, Town Toyota, Auto Mocha, JDSA Law, and Weinstein Beverage. This concludes today's coverage of high school sports on your home for local sports, the NCW Life Channel.